Canola oil is a seed oil, and uh, so it's one of eight. I call them the hateful eight. And it's really no better, no worse than the other hateful eight. But the reason that the canola oil industry will tell you that it is better than soy and corn is because it has omega-3 in there. And um, omega-3 is a, one of the two essential polyunsaturated fatty acids that we need. We need it for brain health. We do need to consume some. But the reason I have a problem with canola oil uh, has to do with the uh, the processing, and it all boils down to this: the fact that whether it's omega three or omega six, it's an unstable fat, and that's why we can't be eating so many seed oils and plant oils as we are right now because they are high in these unstable fats. And the the chemical term is the polyunsaturated fats, and you can break the polys down into omega-3 and omega-6, which have opposing effects in our body. They're not meant to be used for fuel. Uh, they're meant to really to be signaling molecules in a, you know, in a, present in a certain amount in our cell membrane so that when we get a cut, for example, in our skin, we can have uh, you know, clotting and healing start to occur. We can, uh, if we get like an infection, uh, these signaling molecules help fight off infections and it's playing a big role in what's happening with the coronavirus and people's immune systems not being able to fight off the infection due to so much inflammation. But they promote inflammation, right? So canola oil, just like soy and corn, promotes inflammation because it's unstable and the amount that we consume it, these seed oils in these days is the problem. If we could dial back our consumption of omega-3 and omega-6, ensure that it only comes from food, whole food, not factory processed oils, uh, we, we'd be fine. We'd be back where we were 100 years ago when our consumption was about a 10th or a 20th or a 30th, depending who you are, of what it is now. But we're having 10, 20, 30 times more than our bodies can handle. And it's built, it builds up in our body fat, it acts like a toxin, and it makes it so that our body fat is inflammatory. Um, and and it has huge implications for every aspect of our health.